on you guys it's your boy alex west collects here bringing you another figure review today we're taking a look at the brand new survivor series elite wave keith lee and brett the hitman heart if you are interested in picking up these figures they are now shipping from ringsidecollectibles.com your number one source of wrestling action figures and when you shop there use code for life it'll save you 10 percent off your order so take a look at these two figures uh keith lee a different variation from the prior elite that we got and Brett the Hitman Hart, uh, one that I've been really excited to have. It's based off of his Survivor Series 1996 gear. A little bit of a different attire. It's got some nice oranges mixed in. But looking at the figures in the packaging, you get the images of Keith Lee and Bret Hart on the front. On the sides, you get the close-up of each superstar. And flipping it to the other side, you get the iconic pose of Bret Hart. And another zoom in on Keith Lee. The back, you got the read up as well as the other figures in the way, which include Hulk Hogan and Bailey, addition to these two. Let's come back and get these guys out of the packaging. All right, so here we are with the figures out of the packaging, and we're going to start off with Keith Lee first. So, accessories you get two open, interchangeable hands, and this removal entrance vest. So, this is the same jacket or vest that we got with the Elite 82 figure. Uh, obviously, the Chase figure had the different colors, but it's got the same logo, Bask in My Glory, on the back. And just like the last one, it is a little bit of a pain to get um, into the holes uh, to fit. But nonetheless, it does look great. Uh, but again, it is the same exact vest that we've seen before. Uh, the difference with this figure, obviously, is the face. Uh, so the Elite 82 figure, he's got the goatee on. I kind of like the more clean shaven look. I feel like before he kind of went off TV, that's kind of look we've been uh, accustomed to seeing more with. Uh, you get the painted on elbow pad, which I feel like works for this figure. It looks pretty good. And I do like the blue attire on this Keith Lee. I think it does definitely pop. It's something a little different. Got Bask in my glory on his uh, left side. Keith Lee on the back. And his pose on the other side. So the figure looks great. I do like the bigger torso use for him. Kind of gives him that big bulky look. He is a big guy. Uh, as far as the other hands he comes with, he comes with a fist and the... The thumbs up kind of uh, pose. Taking a look at his legs. So he's got some nice size. So this, again, is very similar if you do have the last uh, Elite Keith Lee. Um, it's really going to come down to preference if you like this gear more. Uh, obviously, the Chase figure is, you know, significantly different. But if you had the regular version, I kind of feel like this is uh, one step up. I do like the gear on this figure. It definitely... It just looks a lot nicer. And as far as the face scan, I do like uh, the beard. Uh, the beardless look better. Um, now moving on to Brett the Hitman Heart. So accessory-wise, you get a bunch of interchangeable hands. We get two open hands for him to do his iconic pose. You get two rock-on hands. Is that the focus? As well as some Mike Holden hands. It's something that's near and dear to my heart. So I'm a New Yorker. And if you grew up in New York, going to Madison Square Garden, as I did, catching house shows or any sporting events, back in the day, they had these ugly-ass purple chairs. Um, and this is kind of what it's meant to represent. Those funky chairs from back in the day. So I personally do really appreciate that. Um, it, and it's a different color. I mean, how many times can you get a black chair? So it's nice that they kind of change it up a little bit. Um... But again, it's more or less the same design that we've seen over and over again. Um, especially with these newer chairs, they got that little piece that holds it in on the sides. So always nice to have weapons. And as far as his glasses, I know there's been a lot of complaints saying that they're not accurate. So you get the black shades. These are the same kind of red glasses that we've seen over and over again. At some point during this video... I'm going to swap them to give them the reflector version. If you are interested in getting these, I think Bre Bret Hart Dungeon, Bret Hart underscore Dungeon on Instagram is selling these. So check him out um, if you want some vinyl shades for your Bret figures. But moving on to the head scan. So I don't know. I thought I did not like it when I first saw the images. Like it does kind of look like an older version of Bret Hart. But I don't know. I, I In hand, I think I like it a little better. Something about the hair, I think, is what's throwing me off. I mean, we asked for it for so long from Mattel. Can we get a Bret Hart without any, you know, hair in front of his face? So here it is. And I don't know. It looks, something looks a little off. I'm not going to lie. It's not perfect, but I do think it looks 100 times better than when I, my first uh, impressions when I uh, saw the proto images. 
As far as the gear, I really like this figure. I love the orange. I love the, the pink and the black. Just such a nice design. It was something a little different that Brett wore back in 1996. Looking at the designs on his tights. Got the hearts. Got the classic star on his boot. On his boot, Very iconic. The stars on the back. I love this the attire. This looks so good. Came out so great. Uh, I think they're still using painted torsos, unfortunately, with Brett's. Uh, mine's got a few paint specks. Uh, I'm going to try to scrape that off, but I don't want to dig underneath where the, the black uh, painted torso shows through. But it does look great. I even like that they went back and adjusted it. So remember, the Proto had the black wrist tape. Uh, Mattel corrected that, gave him the pink ones. So, I mean, all in all, it looks pretty nice. I mean, not perfect, but this is definitely... Um, a step up from the last part we got. I know a lot of people were not happy with the WCW version with his tights. So uh, I think this kind of makes up for a little bit. Uh, let's come back and we'll get into some figure comparisons. So with Keith Lee being one of the bigger, more agile uh, WWE superstars, I wanted to bring some uh, bigger guys who kind of complement his abilities. And one that strikes my mind, which I feel like he reminds me of, is kind of like a modern day Vader. Um... Just to give you some ideas of size comparison, uh, here's another big guy. We got Elite 12 Kane, still a classic, still one of my favorite figures. Uh, can't wait for that Ultimate Edition Kane to come out. And lastly, I'm bringing in my custom WCW Giant. Um, and you can see, you know, Keith Lee again being one of the bigger guys on the roster. How he stacks up against some legendary talents. So before we get into some bread comparisons, I just kind of want to show you that quick fix up that I did, um, how these reflective decals look on the plain black Bret Hart glasses. Uh, I, I dig it. I think it adds a little something to the figure, um, kind of makes it a little better than just the plain black glasses. And in case you're wondering, here's Brett with uh, the Defining Moments Bret Hart jacket. Uh, I hope to God that Mattel eventually releases another Ultimate Edition figure with a cloth jacket because it's been way too long. So Bret Hart comparison time. On the left, we have what I know a lot of people feel like was a little bit of a disappointing figure. We have the WCW two-pack Bret Hart. Uh, on the right, we have the Ultimate Edition Bret the Hitman Hart. Here we have two Bret Hart fix-ups that I did. So on the left, it's the Defining Moments upper body with, I want to say it's the WrestleMania 30 lower half. And on the right, it's the Defining Moments figure. I swapped out the arms to give him uh, more of a uh, the bigger look and uh, a different head scan. Uh, both kind of going towards the uh, WCW versions of Bret Hart that I remember. And lastly, on the left, we have the ringside exclusive Bret Hart. And on the right, which still reigns supreme to me, my favorite Bret Hart figure that came out so long ago, the Defining Moments figure. And here's a group uh, comparison shot of uh, my Bret Hart Elite and Ultimate figure collection. Uh, definitely hoping to get more down the road. I really would like to see uh, an Ultimate version of the DM figure, which would look really cool. And wrapping up here, so I'm going to say I highly recommend both these figures. As far as Keith Lee goes, I definitely do love his trunks. Uh, the blue definitely does pop. I know the, the jacket is the same as the Elite 82, but I'm going to give the edge to the Survivor Series Elite over that figure. And I also do like the fact that he's got the clean shaven look uh, versus the goatee on the last uh, Elite release. I will say the Chase version is unique. Uh, that definitely will probably pop a little more, but if you can't track that one down, this is a good substitute to have. As far as Bret Hart goes, I know there was a lot of people who are a little uncertain on whether to grab this figure, and I say absolutely go for it. The gear is amazing. I do really like the look of it. It's really unique, and it's, you know, something a little different than the kind of standard uh, pink and black looks that we've seen from Bret over the years. The one glaring thing I will say, I wish he did come with a cloth leather jacket. I feel like we are way overdue for that from Mattel. Uh, that would have kind of completed the look. I know um, he kind of did have a different look, more kind of similar to... The Ultimate Edition jacket with the frills on the side, but um, I think a jacket is needed. It just kind of look, would complete the look. That's just me. But uh, as far as the head scan goes, I know um, it, it's not perfect, but in hand, I will say 100%, it definitely does look better. Uh, you can grab the uh, the custom decals to fix up the glasses. That's from Bret Hart underscore Dungeon. Uh, I think he's still selling them, so hit him up on Instagram, see if you can grab those. So definitely, uh, if you are interested in picking up these figures, go to ringsidecollectibles.com. Promo code 4LIFE will save you 10% off your order at checkout. Before you guys go, please make sure to hit that like button down below. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel here for more great content. And as always, follow me on Instagram at AlexWestCollects. Thanks for checking out this review and take care.